The Society of Garden Designers uh, was made up from uh, people of, of a like mind who wanted to make design official and an art, if you like. I remain a, a, a proud member of it and thinking back over the years what's been achieved, which is a hell of a lot. The whole process of, of uh, cre creating a garden is, is thoroughly enjoyable. It must be one of the most attractive and interesting profession that there could possibly be. It is so fulfilling. It's, it's never ever dull. There's always something new happening or new ideas. I've been really, really thankful for the opportunities I've been given. I sometimes don't feel I've deserved it. Actually, it was one of my most happy times was Maris Wood teaching students of, of, at various levels um, and became friends and I'm still in touch with some of them e even now. Um, but after uh, uh, five years I thought it was time to give them a rest and give me a rest and so it was at that point I became freelance as a garden designer and by then I was also writing quite a bit and illustrating and so on. I've been all over the world to, to comment on or create gardens. I feel it's privileged, I, I would say, as well as lucky. I, I've had my moments. And I think there's no doubt whatsoever that we've set, set the sill for every other country as, as far as garden design. This is where it emanates from. There is a difference, I suppose, in that with, with it's an English, British garden, um, that we, we can expand and, and change and experiment. We sort of in, introduce an element of, of freedom and we, the British have a great amount of um, respect given to them by our other sort of fellows and foreign clients. I, I was absolutely taken aback when I saw it. I thought, well, it's, it's me, it's like, you know, it's uh, not somebody else. And I was extremely proud. Thank you very much. <laughs>